This is a short film for sellyourrecordcollection.com. Uh, we're going to have a look inside this little box here and go through some demos and some acetates uh, of various predominantly British acts. Um, and the first up, we've got a vinyl test pressing here of uh, the Herbal Mixtures machines. It's an interesting little record. Uh, the lead singer of the Herbal Mixture went on to be in the Groundhogs. So from a collector's point of view, it's nice to have a bit of the backstory and it's, a, it's actually a very solid track in itself. Moving on, uh, we've got a stock demonstration record here by Bobby Adino. It's a sad world and Hands of Time is the A side. And that's a, a, a really solid, decent mod soul. Uh, nice to have, great condition. Okay, here we've got a it's, a, it's actually a Decca test pressing, but what they've done is the studios place their own label on there to be able to identify the recording. And uh, it's actually the Mighty Avengers with Walking Through the Sleepy City, which is, a, again, it's a top number. It's nice to have, quite rare. Here we've got another, this one is actually a, an oak stock label with the Emmy Disc label on there. I hope you can see that. And this is Baby I've Got News For You by Miller. This is a top freak beat track. This is the original test pressing for, for, the, uh, for the single. It's a 45, obviously, and uh, that's a vinyl record. That's very rare. And here we've got a, an acetate. This is Gary Benson. Um, his homecoming backed with Unpredictable Journey. Another acetate here by Dinah Lee, Nitty Gritty, and uh, I'll forgive you then forget you. We've got another acetate, Bring Your Love Back Home is the title, The Soulmates. It's a one-sided acetate, and uh, there's a little date up there that says 25th of March 1966. We've got a Columbia demo here. And this is uh, Shotgun Express, so that's Brian Auger and Rod Stewart, etc. It's from 1966. This is a very rare acetate. This is Davy Jones with the King Bees. And the title of the track is Liza Jane. This is an acetate, so it's a, a metal lacquer with uh, uh, an acetate covering. And these were made in the studio so that the band could listen back to the track that they just recorded or sometimes they were sent out to reviewers, sometimes to radio stations, etc. Uh, acetates are quite interesting as well because sometimes they have alternative takes. Uh, this is a particularly rare track because Davy Jones is actually uh, David Bowie. So uh, that's uh, quite a curiosity and, and certainly one for collectors. We've got another pie acetate here. And here we've got um, the twin set with Tremblin, 1967 demo and sneaking up on you. And we've got a, an unreleased acetate here. Another thing about acetates is obviously sometimes the band didn't have uh, a record deal. What they had was uh, a bit of time in the studio and the hope that maybe they'd get signed so they would you know, cut as many acetates as they could afford and send them out so that they could uh, perhaps get a deal. And uh, this was recorded at the Zellar studio, which was in Birmingham. And it, this particular acetate is a sort of psychedelic, folky kind of number. It's quite nice. The other thing to point out, actually, about acetates is actually um, sometimes you can see um, it's going to be very difficult to, to try and catch this in the light, but um, there's a sort of purplish hue to the rim of the, of the record. Um, it's a sort of reddish purple colour. Uh, here we've got another acetate, it's an Emmy disc, Tammy St. John, Margot and the Marvettes, it's actually stamped in the centre there, 17th of November, that would be the release date, um, that's a, a Northern Soul number, Do you know Washington, just trying to get a sense of the different types of acetate really and the different types of demo, lots of studios were cutting these. Tell Me When, Troy Dante, Keith Kirkham again, Dick James, Jimmy Justice, this is a factory sample again, so a test pressing, it's a blue beat, so it'll be a scar number. Okay. 
and you can listen to some of these tracks if you check it check into uh, www.sellyourrecordcollection.com and go to the chart section you should be able to hear a lot of these uh, particular singles if you click on the images and uh, certainly if you were in a band or if you have any demos or anything similar to these if uh, you'd like to contact us if you're interested in selling them we'd certainly be interested um, and hopefully we'll be back with another short film soon so please check back thanks for watching